Receive more fire as you enter into the prayer room. Receive more fire. Receive more fire. Let the Lord consume you with holy fire. Holy fire. Let that holy fire fall upon your altars. Share the prayer room right now. I want you to share the prayer room. Tonight God is going to deliver. The Lord is going to break the yokes. Send the prayer room into your group. Send the prayer room into your messengers. Send the prayer room to someone that needs fresh fire on their altar. Send fresh fire, God. Send fresh anointing, God. Let holy fire fall, God. Let holy fire fall upon the hearts of men and women today. Let holy fire burn. Let holy fire burn. Burn out the trust. Burn out lukewarmness. Burn out every spirit of the world. Burn out every spirit of infirmity. Burn out everything that does not belong. Lord, burn it out of the hearts of men and women. Come on, global church. Pray, pray, pray. Pray this evening. Lord, let lukewarmness be burnt out. Let lukewarmness go. Every spirit of infirmity, let it be burnt out by fire. Wherever there is disease and all sorts of plagues, sicknesses, plaguing the bodies of men and women, let the holy fire burn out the works of the enemy. Every sickness must go. Every backache, every neckache, every pain, every spiritual sickness, let holy fire burn it out. Holy fire will burn out every spiritual sickness, everything that the enemy sent to destroy your life, to destroy your walk, to destroy your ministry. Let it be roasted by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy fire, holy fire. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord for the holy fire. Lord, send holy fire. Send holy fire upon their altars. Send holy fire, mighty God. Pure fire from heaven. Let seraphims come and drop fire, God. Kasumro soto kosata. Holy fire, holy fire. Kasumro soto ko. Ask the Lord for holy fire. Ask the Lord to rekindle your prayer altars. Ask the Lord to stir you up, to stir you up, to stir up a passion in your soul for prayer. Ask the Lord to stir you up, to stir up that anointing for righteousness, that anointing to pursue the presence of God. Let the Lord stir up that fire. Let the Lord rekindle that fire. Make you as a fire carrier. May you become a fire carrier. Sa -ta 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 -ta. May you become a fire carrier. Wherever you go, you will light up the fires. Wherever you go, you will start the fires. You will be a fire carrier. I decree and I declare that over your life. You will be a fire carrier and a fire starter. I speak that over your life. The Holy Spirit will be with you. The angels of fire will go with you. Wherever you go, you will light up the fires of prayer. The sweet spirit of intercession will be upon your life. The sweet spirit of intercession will rest upon you. Wherever you go, you will be surrounded by clouds of holy fire. You will be an atmosphere changer. I speak the mantle of, of fire off on your life. You will be an atmosphere changer. You will change atmospheres because of the fire on your life. Let the fire of the Holy One burn in you. Ask the Lord for fire, fresh fire. Fresh fire, fresh fire. Fresh fire be released. Let holy fire burn, burn, burn upon altars today. Let holy fire burn upon prayer altars. Altars all around the nations of the world. Let holy fire burn. Let holy fire burn upon the altars of pastors, upon the altars of prophets, upon the altars of ministers. Let holy fire burn upon the altars of deacons and deaconess, men and women of prayer. 
let holy fire burn upon the altars of worshipers holy fire mighty God let holy fire burn burn increase their fire mighty God give them more fire ask God for more fire more fire is coming more fire is coming you gotta ask the Lord ask the Lord for more fire I send more fire I release more fire more fire on your life more fire in your prayer room more fire in your prayer studio more fire in your house of prayer I release more fire over worshipers more fire more fire more fire you need more fire ask the Lord for more fire more fire more fire when you worship the dryness, the dryness must go. The dryness must go. Let every dryness go. Let every barrenness go. Let every regurgitation of words go. Every plagiarizing of words go. The dryness must go. You must be a receiver from the throne room of heaven. The word of the Lord must come directly to you from the throne. That will only happen with a covenant relationship. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. More fire, God. Send more fire. Send more fire upon altars. Send more fire upon prophets. Send more fire upon our pastors. Send more fire upon evangelists. Send more fire, God. Send more fire. Set them on fire. Set their homes on holy fire. Set their ministries. Holy fire, holy fire, holy fire. Let holy fire burn. More fire, more fire, more fire. Receive the fire. Receive fresh fire on your altar. Receive fire. Receive fresh fire. Give them more fire. Give your people more fire. Give them that anointed God to intercede God. Give them the fresh grace God. The grace that they need to push in prayer. Give them the grace that they need to hold on to the horns of the altar. In good times, in bad times, in ups and downs. Give them the power that they need to hold on and travail at the horns of the altar. Give intercessors that power. Give watchmen the power. Give seers power. Give men and women of God power. God, fresh fire. Let fresh fire fall upon your altars today. In the mighty name of Jesus, fresh fire falls upon your altars today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to share the prayer room right now. Send the prayer room into the groups. Those of you that are missing, intercessors that you don't see, send the prayer room into their messengers right now so that they can join, so that they will not miss their portion. The anointing of God is here. I have a word from the Lord for you. As I was praying in my prayer room, waiting on the Lord, the Lord said to me, Anna, I want you to tell my people that their hour of manifestation has come. So I want you to hear the word of the Lord on this evening. I want you to know that there is a time for sowing and there is a time for reaping. The word of God says those that sow to the spirit will reap of the spirit everlasting righteousness. The Lord sent me on this evening to let you know that your hour has come to reap of the Spirit. I'm talking to watchmen. I'm talking to prophets and seers. I'm talking to covenant sons and daughters. Your hour has come to reap of the Spirit that which you have sown. I believe that many of you were sowing, you were sowing intercessions, you were sowing 
prayer, you were sowing your seeds, you were sowing your tithes, your offerings. But more importantly, you were purifying your altars. Many of you that were purifying your, your bodies as the temple of the Lord, that's what you call sowing to the spirit. You were sowing in the spirit. You were making your bodies houses of prayer. You were making this vessel a pure and a clean vessel so that the Holy Spirit can come and habitate inside of you. And so as you were sowing in the spirit, the Lord says to tell you that your hour has come to reap of the spirit and increase righteousness. So many of you, your life is now redeemed for signs and wonders. This is the month. That's right. This is the month. I'm going to begin to prophesy over your life in a little while. But I want you to understand the word of the Lord on today. The prophecy over your life on today, it's a prophecy for signs and wonders. It's a prophecy where the people of God that are walking in covenant is about to receive their portions. Everything that you have been sowing in the spirit, it's about to be manifested in the natural. Your life is redeemed for signs and wonders. June, June, the Lord sent me on to let you know that June, it's the month where your life will manifest great signs and wonders. Your life is about to manifest wonders that have never been seen or wonders that have never been heard. Many of you, you have been purifying your temples. You have been purifying your bodies. You have been sober in your walk with the Lord. You have been praying. You have been repenting. You have been pulling yourself together at the altar of prayer and creating a habitation for the Holy Spirit to dwell in your temples. And so the Lord sent me on today to let you know that your life is now redeemed for signs and wonders. June, the month of June, as you have consecrated, as you are yielding yourself, as you are purging and purifying, the Lord says June will be your month where I will manifest my glory through your life. I'm about to manifest my power. I'm about to manifest my dominion through you. For the Lord sent me on to let you know that it is only the army of covenant sons and daughters that he can use in this last hour. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It is only those that are in covenant with Elohim. Covenant sons and daughters, covenant sons and daughters are about to manifest the greatest demonstration of power that the world has ever seen. Covenant sons, covenant daughters, many of you under the sound of my voice, you are in covenant, you are in covenant at the altar, you are in covenant with, in prayer, you are in covenant with your giving, you are in covenant with your seed sowing, and the Lord sent me on with the word from Jehovah. He said to tell you, your life is about to manifest a great wonder in the month of June. This is the month, the month of June, not August, not September, this month. June. Somebody need to declare and come into agreement. Right? June 2020 is my month to manifest the wonders. You're about to manifest a dynamic wonder. It's about to blow the minds of people. I'm telling you, it's going to blow their minds. The Lord is about to use you to demonstrate his power, to demonstrate his anointing, to demonstrate his sovereignty in the earth. The Lord is going to use you. Your life is redeemed for signs and wonders in the month of June. The month of June, it begins. The month of June, it shall happen. The month of June, there will be a wonder in your life. 
the month of June, something magnificent is about to break forth. You're about to reap the righteousness of God in the month of June. That's right, Brittany. I speak over your life. It will happen for you in this month, the month of June. Your light will shine. Your head will be lifted and you will be laughing. What made you cry last month, you will be laughing this month because a, a wonder and a sign is about to be manifested out of your life. The month of June, the month of June, the month of June, the month of June. God is blessing covenant people in the month of June. You and your children are redeemed for signs and wonders. You and your children, you are redeemed for signs and wonders. I'm not asking you, I am telling you, the covenant sons and daughters, you and your children, you are redeemed for signs and wonders. There is no, there is no devil that can stop the covenant rights of a covenant daughter or a covenant son of God. You are redeemed for signs and wonders. I am a covenant daughter in the earth and by virtue of the covenant, I am untouchable in the earth. I am untouchable in the earth for the Lord has placed a mantle of fire upon my life and I am untouchable in the earth. I am walking in a dominion of blessings that cannot be questioned. I am a covenant daughter. I am a covenant daughter. Covenant is unbreakable. Covenant is what enforces the power of the covenant son or daughter of God in the earth. That's why I'm speaking to covenant sons and daughters. I'm telling you, the Lord opened the Red Sea for Moses by virtue of his covenant with Moses. The Red Sea parted because of covenant. I don't know who may be facing a Red Sea. There may be a Red Sea in front of you, but the Lord says, I'm about to part the Red Sea because of the covenant. Because of the covenant that I have with you, I'm about to part the Red Sea. God is a covenant keeping God. He keeps his covenant even to a thousand generations. A covenant, a covenant keeping God. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is about to part your Red Sea. Somebody is, a, is about to walk through. I see you just walking through. You're walking through on dry land. No devil will be able to stop you. No devil will be able to hinder you. No devil will be able to, to dis disturb or distort or divert your destiny. You and your children are redeemed for signs and wonders. You are redeemed. You are redeemed. I said you are redeemed for signs and wonders. I am redeemed for signs and for wonders. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be aborted. It cannot be stolen. It cannot be talked against. Covenant is unbreakable. My covenant with Elohim is unbreakable. As a covenant daughter of Elohim, my covenant rights enforces my authority in the earth. I am a covenant daughter. You and your children are redeemed for signs and for wonders. June is the month. June is the month. June is the month. You're getting ready to manifest a great wonder in the earth. No eyes have seen, no ears have heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men what God is about to do in your life. I'm telling you, no devil will be able to stop it. When God has, when God chooses to lift the head of a man or a woman of covenant, no devil in hell can stop it. No critic can stop it. No scoffer can stop it. I'm telling you, there are people looking on at your life and they are wishing that you would fail. There, there are people looking on at your life and they are wishing that you would just shut up. But I came to announce today there is an unlocking of your voice to the nations. I speak that over your life. There is an unlocking of your voice. Voice power comes to you now. I release voice power over your life. 
you will open your mouth and fire will come out. You will open your mouth and demonic altars will catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Voice power be released unto you. Your voice will not be silenced. You will open your mouth and the anointing of God will break through yokes and break through chains. Let that anointing be released upon your life. Covenant, covenant, covenant. The covenant sons and daughters, covenant sons and daughters, write this down. I want to tell you the meaning of covenant. Covenant. A covenant is a binding agreement of mutual commitment between two parties. Write that down. A covenant is a binding agreement of mutual commitment between two parties binding agreement mutual commitment between two parties and that's why the covenant sons and daughters of God are getting ready to take over new territories because as you have sown to the, to the spirit and you have sown in the fields of humanity and you have sown in fertile soil, the hour has come for the harvesting of that seed. And the Lord is about to perform his part on your behalf. The Lord is about to give you your portion. The Lord is about to fulfill his end of the covenant. You and your children are redeemed for signs and wonders in the month of June. The light on your children will shine in the month of June. Whoever tried to cast a veil of darkness upon your son or upon your daughter, I just see the Lord ripping those veils apart. It's as though there were veils of darkness, veils of darkness, and it's as though the, the enemy tried to cover your glory and cover that anointing with veils of darkness. Well, those veils are just being ripped apart by fire and by force. Every veil of darkness be burned by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant daughters, covenant sons are arising in the earth. So that's the covenant. A covenant, a binding agreement of mutual commitment between two or more parties for mutual benefit. Now, we as covenant sons and daughters of God, we, we make covenant at the Lord's altar. We make covenant at the holy altar of God. We make covenant with, with men and women of prayer, men and women of righteousness, men and women that God has placed over our lives. We come into covenant with our men and women of God by virtue of exchange, by virtue of the seed. When we sow into their life, we become a partaker of the grace. That's the good covenant. Now I want to tell you about the covenant of evil because there are evil altars where there are witches and warlocks committed to destroying the life of the righteous at evil altars. They are at evil shrines, making incantations against your life. They are at evil shrines, building evil altars to destroy the righteous. Witches and warlocks, just as you and I come into covenant with Elohim, and we come into covenant with the man and the woman of God through prayer, through intercession, through seeds, seed sowing and putting our seeds on the altar. There are witches and warlocks putting demonic monies on evil altars to destroy the child of God. But today, the Lord sent me on to let you know by virtue of your covenant today, evil altars are about to be overthrown. The Spirit of the Lord is overthrowing evil altars, evil altars, satanic altars that was set up with your name on it is about to be dismantled by fire. By virtue of your covenant, by virtue of being in covenant 
at the altar of fire. You are at the altar of fire. Everything that does not belong in your life will be burned by fire. There is an anointing at this altar to dismantle evil altars. Every evil altar burning against your life shall be dismantled. I want you to pray in agreement right now. Every evil altar with your name on it shall be dismantled by fire. Let evil altars be overthrown. Let evil altars catch fire now. Let evil altars be capsized right now. Wherever they are making incantations with my name on it, I release the fire of God. I release the fire of God. Every evil prayer, whoever is calling my name with evil prayers and incantations, I let it backfire now. Backfire now. Come on, intercessors, you got to pray. You got to learn to pray. You got to learn to break through the powers of darkness. Whoever is calling your names at the evil altars by virtue of the covenant of fire today, it must catch fire now. Sata Brabaka Sata. Whatever piece of clothing that they put on the altar to represent you or your son, let it catch fire now. I blind the eyes of witches and warlocks. Let their hands be roasted by fire. We're dealing with a witch here. I'm dealing with a witch. I'm dealing with a witch. I see in the realms of the spirit, there is an evil woman. There is an evil woman. There is an evil woman. There is a case. Your son has a case. Your son has a case in court. And it's as though there is an evil woman that put your son's name on an evil altar because she, she wants to tie up the case in the courthouse. She wants to tie the destiny of your son. I am speaking to a mother right now. There is an evil woman making incantations against your son. That case, that court case, there is a witch involved. But by the altar of fire that is burning here today, mighty God, in the name of Yeshua, let every evil altar burning against that son Catch fire now. Let the hand of that witch be cut off by fire. Kasumro, I intercept the powers of darkness. I intercept it. I intercept it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakasata, I intercept the powers of darkness. Backfire in the realms of the spirit. Mighty God, I release warring angels right now. Right now, let warring angels enter into the house of that witch. Let the table of the wicked one be overthrown. Let the seat of the wicked one be overthrown. Let the table of evil counsels be overthrown in the realms of the spirit. Right now, I lose that case. I lose that court case. I lose that court case. Your son, your son will have a great victory this month. I am interceding for you. Your son will have a great victory, a great victory, a great victory, a great victory. Mother, mother, whoever you are under the sound of my voice, you got to put your seed on the altar. Let the Lord speak to you and put your seed at the altar of fire and override every satanic altar. May your altar be strengthened today. The Lord is saying you have to strengthen your altar. Strengthen your altars. You got to strengthen your altar. Masumro soto kusata tata bakasata kasata tata tata. I look in the realms of the spirit, and I am seeing a strange woman lying in the bed with your husband. There is a woman under the sound of my voice. And I am seeing a strange woman. She is lying in the bed with your husband. The Lord says to tell you, fear not, worry not. 
For the Lord never reveals to bring fear, but the Lord reveals to redeem. There is an anointing at the altar of fire today that is about to deal with the spirit of the strange woman. The Lord says, as you strengthen your altar, as you strengthen your altars, strengthen the altar of fire, strengthen your prayer life, strengthen your intercession life, strengthen your fasting life. The Lord says, I am about to override the strange woman. The power of the strange woman be broken. I am sending confusion between the strange woman and your spouse. I am breaking it. I'm breaking it. I break the power of the strange woman. I break the powers. I break it. I break the hole. I break the spell. I break it in the realms of the spirit. Dismantle by fire. Whoever that word is for. The Lord says, do, do what you must. Drop your seed on the altar of fire. Covenant, 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 covenant with the altar of fire. I am talking to covenant sons and daughters. Covenant, the power of covenant. When you are in covenant, covenant is unbreakable. Covenant is unshakable. Covenant cannot be touched. Do you know how many people on the face of the earth wish that they could put me out, wish that they can out my fire, but that will never happen? That will never happen. I am a covenant woman in the earth. I am anointed by fire to solve hard cases. The Lord has anointed me and set me at the altar of fire. Satakarabakasa, so that I can be a blessing to women and men and prophets of God all over the nations of the world. Shatakarabakasa, I am not afraid. There is no devil in hell that can try to silence a covenant woman of God. I am untouchable in the earth. Satakarabakasa, connect to collect this evening. Connect to collect, connect to connect, and begin to make intercession. There is a word at the altar of fire for you. The Lord is revealing to redeem. The Lord is revealing to redeem. You will have your portion. You will have your portion. Your, your hour of manifestation has come. Your life is redeemed for signs and wonders in the earth. I am redeemed for signs and wonders in the earth. Ready or not, here I come. Like me or not, here I come. I am unshakable in the earth. Because I am planted at the altar of fire. Covenant, 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 covenant is timeless. Covenant is covenant is the is the rights and the protection of the sons and daughters of God. Covenant, 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 covenant power, covenant power to subdue the devils, covenant power to subdue the enemy, covenant power. There is no spell that is a match for covenant. There is no wicked word that is a match for covenant. There is no evil eye that can match covenant. There is no evil word that can be released against my life that can match covenant. Covenant power overrides it any day. Zakaraba, covenant power. Asumbro Sotokusata. Covenant power overrides it any day. <laughs> Covenant has the power, beloved. Sata karabaka sata. I am redeemed for signs and wonders in the earth. <laughs> Soto kurabakasa. Let the power, let new power be released upon your life. New power, new power be released on your life. Let new fire be released on your life. 
right now I see in the realms of the spirit that there is someone every time you close your eyes to sleep every time every time Kasumbro Sotokosa Matilda Matilda the Lord says to tell you it's as though you're having some sort of sleeping problem and you're tossing and turning at night and it's as though you, you God has given you that anointing to see in the realms of the spirit. You are called as a dreamer. But something in the night keeps waking you up, intercepting your dreams, intercepting your visions. But right now, I'm going to pray and break the powers of darkness off your life. So that the, so that the Lord can open back that realm of dreams and visions on your life. Mighty God, right now, I break the powers of darkness off of Matilda's life. I break it. I break every cloud, every dark cloud that was blocking her from seeing in the realms of the spirit. I break it and I clear the atmosphere. I clear the atmosphere and I decree and declare from tonight you will have dreams and visions again. From tonight you will be able to see in the realms of the spirit and you will be able to retain and to receive Visions, dreams, revelations. I speak that over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever is fighting against the covenant on my life will be met by the hand of the Lord. Let that be your prayer. Whoever is fighting against the covenant of God on your life the angel of the Lord will deal with them. They will scatter by fire. They will scatter by fire. The adversary that was after your life must scatter by fire. You cannot fight covenant. You cannot fight covenant. Covenant is unbreakable. Covenant is unshakable. Connect to the altar of fire. Connect to the altar of fire. There is a word in the house for you. There is a word. There is a word. There is a word. There is a word. Christine. Christine, there is someone fighting your life. Christine from Trinidad. There is someone fighting your life. I see your name. It's as though your name your name someone is using your name at it's like at an evil altar or an evil shrine or something like that so christine what the lord is saying to you the lord wants you to go deeper in prayer the lord wants you to lift up your standard of intercession the lord wants you to go into a three-day fasting and the lord needs you to drop your seed you need to renew your covenant your covenant your covenant is weak it's shaken right not like in a bad way or anything, but this is what the Lord is saying. Renew your covenant at the altar of fire. Renew your covenant. Let the Lord find you faithful. Renew your covenant. So right now, I just pray against, I pray against that evil shrine that they have put your name on. I pray against the one that is burning incantation against your life. I pray against it right now. And I release the angel of the Lord to scatter every incantation against the life of Christine. I release the fire of God to burn up, to burn up every evil shrine where they have your name, where they are lighting incense, where they are making incantation. Let it be burned by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. A new day has come for you and the Lord is going to make your life into a sign and a wonder. The Lord will make your life into a sign and into a wonder. Let that anointing be released on your life. Satataka sata. Let the Lord send more fire. Ask the Lord to send more fire right now. Kasumbro Sotoko Sataka. I want to go deeper in the prophetic. Kasumbro Sotoko Sataka Sataka Sataka. Can I just prophesy to you just a little bit longer? Sotoko Sataka Sataka. Ask the Lord to send more fire. More fire. Lord, send more fire. A new fire. More fire, more fire, more fire. Let more fire come upon the altars today. 
Let more fire be released upon your prayer altars. Let more fire be released upon your life. Let more fire be released upon your homes. Shalina, Shalina Joseph, the Lord is saying to tell you, I am sending a financer into your life. The Lord says to tell you, be sure not to make emotional ties and get too carried away because of a financer. Because the Lord says to tell you, it is him. It is God is the one that is doing it. It is God is the one that is sending the blessing. So the Lord says, as I send that new financer into your life, I want you to establish and advance in the things of God and do what you must and improve your prayer studios and all of that. But remember to praise the Lord and worship the Lord because it is from the Lord. It is from the Lord. Put your eyes on the Lord. It is from the Lord. I just release that over your life even now. Helen, the Lord wants to release more fire over your life. Helen, there's an, a person by the name of Helen. The Lord wants to release more fire over your life. More fire is coming to your prayer altar. As you yield yourself to the Lord in prayer, there is a new gift that is about to be stirred up out of your spirit, man. A new gift. The Lord is going to stir up that gift. It's like a gift of intercession, a gift, a gift. There is so much that you want to do for the Lord. Helen, the, you want to do so much for the Lord. And God is saying, I'm about to do it for you. As you go deeper in prayer, as you commit to the altar of prayer, I'm going to stir up that gift again. That gift is being stirred up. That gift is being stirred up. And I hear the Lord say, fear not, worry not about what's happening in your home. There is a difficulty with a family member. It's as though you've been having a struggle. The Lord says, your case will be settled this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, your case will be settled this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's the word of the Lord. That's the word of the Lord. That's the word of... Diane, there is family contention. Diane, something just passed by. Family contention. I sense family contention in the home. And that family contention is coming from the altars. The altars of the generation. The altars of time gone by. And it's as though the, the, the evil altars or the generational curses are just renewing itself. It renews itself every year around the same time. And so the Lord says to tell you that you prepare yourself because there is uh, there is new power coming to destroy that generational curse it will take prayer it will take fasting it will take intercession and as you drop your seed and you renew the covenant of Elohim the evil covenant will be overthrown override broken by the powers of God just receive your portion I pray against every generational curse every generational curse fighting against the lives of God's people let every generational curse be broken every generational curse be broken right now let curses be broken let witchcraft be broken spirits of lukewarmness let it be broken spirits of backsliding let it be broken let it be broken right now break break let every demonic power fighting your life be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. So, uh, Glennis. That name just went up on the screen. Glennis. There is a mind binding spirit. Blocking one of your children's minds. It's like a mind binding spirit. It's, a, it's the spirit of a strong man. And that spirit of the strong man existed in the family altar, the evil altar, many years ago. So it has come back now. That demon, that strong man cannot touch you because I sense you're a praying woman. But it's coming after your, your child, probably your son, probably your daughter. But it's a, a mind-binding spirit. I'm going to pray against that right now. Come into agreement. Mighty God, I pray against every mind-binding devil. Fighting your son. Fighting the mind of your daughter. I come against every mind-binding demon. I command it to break. Break. Loose your hold. 
I command every strong man from the evil altar, break by fire, loose your hold off of that son, loose your hold off of that daughter right now. I release the mind of Christ over your daughter. I release the mind, the mind. She's having a warfare of the mind, her mind, her mind. Right now, mighty God, as I lay my hand as a point of contact, I am touching the head of that daughter right now. Let the fire of the Holy One be released. Be released right now upon the head of that son, upon the head of that daughter right now. Holy fire. Let holy fire be released by fire. No strong man will rule over your child's life. I and my children are redeemed for signs and wonders. Let that be your declaration right now. I and my children are redeemed for signs and wonders. That's your prophecy. June is the month. June is the month. Your life will shine. Your case will be settled. Adversaries will be dismantled. There is an anointing of fire moving from this altar into your homes. There is an anointing of fire moving from this altar into your prayer rooms. Your case will be settled. I said your case will be settled by fire today. I am redeemed for signs and for wonders. Isaiah 8 and 18. Isaiah 8 and 18. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given to me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts. I drive in the word of God and I seal this prophetic word. Isaiah 8 and 18, that's your word. Seal it, seal it. Let the word of the Lord be sealed over your life. Let the word of the Lord be sealed. Naomi, the Lord says to tell you that he is about to release to you is releasing to you double portion there is there is a dark force that has been trying to block your finances and because you have been coming and trying to covenant at the altar of fire the dark force it's a religious demon it's a religious demon that has been trying to block your advancement to block your progress in life Naomi this is the word of the Lord to you and so you could not reach you could not connect it's as though you're reaching this close but you just can't connect you're reaching but you're not connecting but today the Lord is just breaking every resistance I break every limitation I break the resistance I break everything that is separating you you will connect you will connect to the altar of fire. You will connect. You will connect to the altar of fire. You will covenant at the altar of fire. I release the grace on you. I release grace upon your life. To covenant at the altar of fire. That's the word of the Lord to you, Naomi. Double is coming. As you covenant at the altar of fire, double is coming. Double is coming. Double, double, double is coming. Kasum rosoto kosata. This month, this month, the month of June, the Lord is rebuking the palmer worm. The Lord is rebuking every barrenness. The Lord is just rebuking everything that tried to steal your wealth and try to pull out of your life and take uh, from you the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm. The Lord says, I am rebuking the devourer. I am rebuking the devourer off of covenant sons and daughters. Sons and daughters that are covenanted at the altar of fire. You are covenant. You are covenant. You are in covenant. As long as you walk in covenant, this is the word of the Lord for you. The Lord says to tell you, I am releasing new possessions for you this month. This is the month. New possessions is coming to you. 
The Lord says, I am giving you new possessions. I'm going to cause your hands to possess great wealth and abundance. Great wealth and abundance. As you yield yourself in prayer, as you yield yourself as a covenant son and as a covenant daughter, as you yield yourself as a wailing woman, a travailing woman, a praying woman, the Lord says to tell you, your hands will be full of new wealth and abundance this month. Your hands are about to be full. You're coming out loaded. You're coming into the month of June loaded. Loaded. Some people will not be able to handle your wealth. Some people will not be able to handle this next level of prosperity on your life. They're going to say, look at that. Look at them. They should be praying. They should be winning souls and they're receiving all this prosperity. No, 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 no. Once you begin to walk in the spirit and you begin to sow to the spirit, you reap of the spirit righteousness. Now, the righteousness of God comes in two forms. It comes in spiritual form and it comes in tangible form. The righteousness of God is what empowers a covenant man or woman of God to walk in great wealth and abundance. So don't hate, celebrate. You, 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 gotta, learn, you gotta tell someone, don't hate, celebrate. You got to learn to tell some people that don't hate, celebrate. The new wealth and the, your hands will be full of new wealth and new abundance that is coming into your life. I just release that over your life. I'm telling you, you got to tell your, your haters, your critics. You got to say don't hate, celebrate. They're going to try to retaliate against your life. They're going to try to backlash you by saying you should be winning souls or you should be doing this or you should be not dressing so much. Well, guess what? They don't know your story. So they are unqualified to judge the glory. Whenever someone does not know your story, they are unqualified to judge your glory. And in a matter of fact, People only talk about people in a bad way that's above them. So you just got to learn to say, keep on talking. Keep on talking. The more you talk, it's the more I will rise. The more you hate, it's the more I will be celebrated. The more you scuff, it's the more I'm going to uh, gather all the blessings that God has to me. Your hands will not be empty this month. I speak that over your life. Your hands will not be empty. Your hands will be full of the blessing. Your hands will be full of the blessing. No man will be able to question you. No man will be able to question you. Your hands will be full of the blessing. Full of the blessing. Your hands will be full of the blessing. The devil that fight you last month will not be able to fight you this month. We are untouchable in the earth. There is no devil that will be able to fight your life this month as a covenant son, as a covenant daughter, as a covenant prophet, as a covenant pastor, as a covenant minister. They will not be able to fight your life. This month is the month where you break through in the realms of the spirit. Come on through. Come on through, pastors. Come on through. Come on through, ministers. Come on through. Minister Lystra, the Lord is saying to tell you there's a new glory anointing coming on your life. Your life is about to shine. Your life is about to blossom. The enemy tried to show you a bad report, but the Lord says to tell you, believe the Lord's report. You are redeemed for signs and wonders this month. As you yield to the altar of prayer, as you yield in consecration and in prayer and in intercession, the Lord says, when that new glory come, your light will shine a hundred times brighter. Receive the word of the Lord, Minister Lystra Okisi. That's your word. That's your word. Let the anointing be released upon your life. Let the anointing be released on your life. Greater glory is your story. Greater glory is your story. If they could not handle your glory in the past season, I'm sorry. 
but this season it's going to be even greater kasumro sotoko sata kasata tata 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 they cannot fight a covenant woman in the earth i am unkillable in the earth kasumro sotoko sata tata i am sent by god on assignment to help to motivate to uplift and to redeem the children of God through the power of the Holy Spirit. Your life shall manifest the glory of God this month. You and your children are redeemed for signs and wonders. No devil will be able to touch you. No devil will be able to hurt your son. No devil will be able to hurt your daughter. I am unkillable in the earth. I walk under the divine protection of Elohim. Mighty warring angels move with me when I move. When I move, angels move. When I stand up, angels stand still. Covenant, that's the covenant. That's the power of covenant. No witch, no witch. Let every witch fighting against your life, let their weapons backfire. Let their evil arrows backfire. Let their evil words backfire. Let the curse of the wicked one backfire. Go back, go back, go back, go back to sender. I am untouchable in the earth. My life is redeemed for signs and for wonders. May that be your portion. Let that be your portion today. That will be your portion today. In the mighty name of Jesus, no devil will be able to touch you. No devil will be able to touch you. No witch, no warlock, no evil word, no evil eye. No one making incantations at evil altars. It's below your foot. You will walk on top of the devil's head. You will walk on top of that which was meant to kill you. Let fire be released upon your feet right now. Holy fire be released upon your feet. Krishna, the Lord says, I am anointing you with a new mantle of fire. I see a new mantle of fire coming. The Lord says, I am anointing you with a new mantle of fire. And as that new mantle of fire is released on your life, you're going to amaze many people. The Lord is making your circle smaller. You have too many people in your circle. So the Lord is just going to remove some people. And the Lord says to tell you, fear not, worry not. Don't be concerned when he's decreasing your circle because he's decreasing to increase. He is decreasing to increase. It's as though he's decreasing your circle to increase you in righteousness. He wants to increase your life with a new righteousness and a new fire. Receive the fire of the Lord on your life right now. A new fire, a new fire. Roshani, Roshani, the Lord is just releasing a new weapon. As your name flashed on the screen, I saw like a... I saw like a hatchet of, or an axe of some sort. It's a new weapon from heaven. The Lord just dropped a new weapon in your prayer room. Receive that weapon right now. The Lord is increasing uh, your anointing to wage spiritual warfare. God is giving you new power. You're going to have new power in the realms of the spirit. Roshni, receive that battle axe. It's a battle axe that just dropped in your prayer room. And you're going to be able to cut off the neck of giants. Let that be your portion right now. Receive your portion. Satakaya ta 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 Fire upon your feet Let fire be released upon your feet Holy fire upon your feet Satakarabaka You will trample upon the works Of witches and warlocks Holy fire Satakarabaka sata Break down the powers Trample upon snakes and scorpions Release the fire upon their feet Mighty God Let fire leave this altar And be released upon their altars holy fire upon your feet right now in the mighty name of Jesus receive your portion of fire 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 new fire holy fire it's a holy fire so satakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatakarabababakasatak
holy fire be released upon your feet. You're going to begin to trample down the works of the enemy. Trample down. Mar Marisol, Marisol, the Lord says to tell you from uh, Panama, the Lord says to tell you there is a new anointing being released upon your life, upon your feet, upon your hands. As you begin to dance before the Lord, the Lord says every time you dance and you make a move with your body, fire will be released. Every time you spin, fire will be released. Every body movement that you make with your prophetic dancing, fire will be released. The Lord says fire is being released upon your life. Marisol, fire, new fire is being released. Receive your portion of fire right now. Receive it from the altar of prayer. Covenant sons and daughters, you are partakers at the altar of prayer today. Let not the fire pass you by. Receive your portion. Let covenant sons and daughters receive your portion at the altar. Receive your portion of fire. Take your portion. Take your portion. Dancers. Dancers. Dancers will dance with a new anointing of fire. A new anointing of fire will be released upon prophetic dancers. You're going to dance before the Lord and that fire will just be released out of your life. Minister Joy, the Lord is saying to tell you because of your virtue, because you have yielded yourself at the altar of virtue and you are a virtuous woman, you're holding to on to the horns of the altar in prayer, in intercession, and in integrity, the Lord says, I am about to raise you up and bring you into a place of honor. That's what I hear the Lord say, a place of honor. I don't know what that means to you, but it's a place of honor. So just receive that word right now, Minister Joy. Receive your portion. Your place of honor is being released to you. Receive the word of the Lord. Let the holy fire rest upon you. Let the holy fire rest upon your sons and daughters. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire is just shining. Shining men and women. Shining men and women. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. Prophetess Gems Glory. Prophetess Gems Glory, there is an anointing coming upon your life such as never seen before. The Lord says to tell you, I'm about to use you this month, this month, in the month of June. I'm unlocking your voice to the nations of the world. When you open your mouth, oh, evil altars will just be dismantled by fire. And there's going to be an, an influx. There's an influx of souls coming. It's as though uh, your hands is anointed to pull souls out of darkness into the light. And so the Lord says, get ready because there is an influx of souls coming. And there's going to be uh, meeting days and meeting times where men and women will have to come into your office to meet with you. Uh, even, even, even probably at the headquarters. But there, there's going to be like meeting days and meeting times. That's what I'm hearing the Lord say as the Lord is getting ready to use you on a new dimension receive that word right now Lord send the fire 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 upon men and women of prayer let their altars blaze with fire let their promotions be sealed in fire let their ministries be sealed in fire let their houses of prayer be sealed in fire. Covenant sons and daughters, fire, fire, fire. Uh, Sh Shelly, the look uh, up, Shelly Sandy. I'm hearing for you in the realms of the spirit new monies, new monies, new monies, new monies. I'm just seeing money coming, money coming, money coming to meet money. New money is coming new resources is coming the lord says to tell you as you launch out into the deep i already have the resources and the wealth waiting for you all you got to do said the lord is to launch out into the deep new money is coming new investors are coming 
new resources are coming, new purpose is coming. All of this is in the package for you as a covenant son and covenant daughter. Shelly and Keith, receive your portion at the altar of fire. Let the fire be released. Let the fire be released. Let the fire of the Lord be released upon your life. Your life will never go down. Your life is going up. You and your children are redeemed for signs and wonders. Let the fire be released. Let the fire fall. Let the winds blow. Let the glory come down. Lord, let the fire be released upon the altars. Let fire be released upon altars right now. Wealth and riches will be in your house. As the Lord begins to settle your case this month, and as the Lord begins to manifest His glory through your life, your life is about to be known in the earth as a glory carrier. Great wealth and abundance is going to be manifested out of your life. And it's nothing that you did not get the right way. At this altar of fire, this is a pure altar. This is a pure place. We, are, we receive directly from the throne room of heaven. This is a pure word from Jehovah. And the Lord is saying, I'm about to increase you with new wealth and new abundance. God is going to bless you. This month, in the month of June, the Lord is going to bless you in a magnificent way, in a grand way. You're not going to have to go after that new wealth and that new blessing. It's just going to find you wherever you are. New wealth, new abundance, new blessing is being released unto your life this month. Covenant sons and daughters, covenant sons and daughters, wealth and riches will be in your house wealth and riches is coming into your house that's the word of the lord unto you today hallelujah i want to give you the word of the lord psalms 112 psalms 112 this is your word psalms 112 and verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in your house and your righteousness endure it forever psalms 112 and one psalms 112 is also your seed that is also your seed you're going to drop your seed at the altar of fire today as you covenant as you renew your covenant psalms 112 is your seed psalms 112 is your portion as you renew your covenant today that's the portion that's the word of the lord wealth and riches will be in his house and his righteousness shall endure forever. Psalms 112, and that's your seed. That's the word of the Lord. That's the word of the Lord to men and women, covenant sons and daughters. That's your portion, and that's the word of the Lord. As you drop your seed at the altar, Psalms 112 is the word of the Lord and 112 is your seed. As you are sowing, I want you to indicate that you are sowing. As you are dropping your seeds, indicate that you are sowing. $112 is your seed. We are covenanting at the altar of fire today. We are covenanting at the holy altar. And we are coming into agreement. We are sowing into the word of the Lord. And we are sowing into our wealthy places. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. And your righteousness shall endure forever. Thank you, Prophetess Gems Glory. I release wealth and riches over your life. Let the abundance of heaven be manifest over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The heavens be open over your life. Minister Junet, let the heavens be open. Thank you for sowing. Let the heavens be open over your life as you receive the portions of Psalm 112. Chandra Samaru, let the portions that you have received today be sealed into your life. Chandra, the Lord is going to do something new for you. The Lord is going to give you a supernatural financial increase as you sow your seed at the altar of fire. Receive your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
It's your portion. It's your portion. Receive your portion right now. Psalms 112. Christine, Christine, I just come into agreement and I seal that prophetic word over your life as you strengthen your altar. You, got, you see, you have to understand altars. When an evil altar is working against your life, your altar must be strengthened. It's because it becomes altar versus altar. And if you do not strengthen your altar, then your altar will be weak. So thank you for obeying the prophetic word. The Lord richly bless you. Let the double portion be released upon your life. Let double portion be released upon your life. Brittany, as you are planting your seed at the altar of fire, the new mantle of fire will be released upon you. The Lord wants to use your voice. I see your voice being unlocked to the nations of the world. I want you to get ready. An opportunity is coming to you this month. The Lord says, get ready. An opportunity is coming to you as a covenant daughter. A great opportunity where your voice will be heard across the nations of the world. Receive your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the angels of the Lord visit you where you are. Shavana, as you sow your seed, as you drop your seed at the altar of prayer, the Lord is changing you up. The Lord is changing you up. An outer layer has peeled off. And as that outer layer has peeled off, it's a new you is coming forth. So a new you is coming forth with a new glory anointing. No man will be able to question that glory on your life. Receive your portion, Savannah, in the mighty name of Yeshua. Glennis, I come into agreement with the prophecy and the prophetic word as you sow into the anointing. Receive your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Double portion be released upon your life. Double portions upon your life. Receive your portion. Kit Shelley and Kit Sandy, as you sow into the anointing of God, the Lord is just going to magnify that anointing on your life as you step into your new level. Multiple streams of income is coming. No man will be able to question it because no man knew your story. So no man will be able to question your glory. Let the anointing break every yoke off of your life as you step into a new level. Wickham, a double portion be released unto you. Wickham, you are a faithful woman. The Lord is saying you are a faithful woman. You are a faithful woman. You are a faithful covenant daughter. You are at the altar of prayer. And the Lord is just saying you are faithful. And because of your faithfulness, this month, your life will be redeemed for signs and wonders. Something sweet is coming forth out of your life. Something sweet and something new. Someone will show up and they will bless you in a major way, in a mega way. Receive your portion right now. Wake up. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive your portion, Minister Shalina. Thank you for giving. Drop your seeds at the altar of prayer. Let the double portion be released upon everyone that is dropping their seeds at the altar of prayer. I'm getting ready to close us out now. I want to bring on our closing song. You know I love my closing song. It's yours, right? That's our closing song. Can you give our I love you, everyone. Thank you for receiving. Oh, hold on, listen. I said the miracle prophecy worker. and the prophetic ministry I said the miracle worker. This is Apostle you Anna Edwards saying, Let the heavens be open over your life. No weapon form against you. Will this is your hour. This is your time. You are redeemed for signs and for wonders in the earth. Diane. I'm coming to your house, beloved. I'm coming to your house and I'm bringing the anointing of fire to your house. Naomi, I'm coming to your house, woman. The anointing of fire will reach to your house by virtue of you pushing through. Something just broke. Ooh, Naomi, something just broke over your life. Ooh, Ooh, Erica, you are climbing in the realms of the spirit. My God, I receive. Thank you, Erica. Erica, you are going to our next level. You are going to be a partaker of this grace, Erica. The Lord said, I'm about to sh shoot you up just like that. You're about to shh. Go up. You're going up. Erica. Receive your portion, woman. I don't know. But the Lord has seen your faithfulness. Erica. My God. Let the Lord be your portion.
function this morning, this evening. Double, double, double. Double, double. double. double, double. If you want it, receive it. Receive it. upon Nika. There's an anointing getting ready to hit Nika's life. You and your children are redeemed for signs and wonders, Pastor Cheryl. The same anointing that is on my life, let it be released upon your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your portion of wealth and riches. Receive your portion. Receive your portion.